set before I set the table up I'm just going to clean it just to make sure there's no little burrs or little ding marks on it I've got a screw on here and all I use it for is this particular job and all it'll do is take off any little raised parts where it's been bumped I used one or two marks on the table. They were here when I, they when I bought it. But basically, it's not bad because it is quite an old machine. What they call witness marks. Clumsy bastard marks, as far as I'm concerned, you know what I mean? Right, so it's taken off any small imperfections. I've got a precision ground disc that I use for clocking the table in, and that is a precision ground disc. It's a core break disc. Which is machined with very accurate tolerance. So I can put a clock gauge in here, I can spin it all the way around there and know at the reading and adjust it accordingly. It doesn't really need clamping down, but. It won't do any harm, it's one less thing that's going to move. Right, just a little gentle nip. That's all I use, more than the collet, as close to the spindle as you can get it, just in the dead gauge on the end. This is the setup that I use for coming the mill. I simply set the dead gauge to zero and I can pivot it around to that side, see what the reading says. That's the easy one to do because the head tilts that way and it tilts that way. The other one to do is that way and that way, which is called the nod. You can't adjust that on this milling machine. Well, you can adjust it. Uh, the way to adjust it is to put shims either under here or under there. So what I'll do, I'll bring the camera in a bit closer, I'll set the mirror up there, and we'll get this one done first, and then we'll see how far out it is on the other way. Zero the clock gauge. Right, we'll turn the spindle 180 degrees which is there. I'll zoom in so you can see the, the gauge in the mirror. Hopefully. Right, and that's on zero as well. That means we don't need to adjust that axis. It's absolutely perfect. Right, hopefully you can see the dial gauge in the back. Yeah, there's, the, there's the pointer. Bring it around to zero. Right, at zero there. Round to the front. We've got a discrepancy. That's eight thousandths of an inch, which is quite a lot actually. Zero there. Eight thou there. So between there and there, there's an eighth hour difference. What needs to happen is the head needs to tilt that way down at this side. 
which will mean loosen off these bolts and put a little piece of shim underneath there. That was <laughs> yes, bad luck we'll avoid it. Right, we'll move that before we do break it. That is nuts on the bottom as well, but they allow the head to swivel there and there in slots. There's one more in behind there. Luckily, I, luckily I've got a supply of 17 mil spanners because that absolutely gone there with that bastard. Right, so the head needs to tilt like that. I've got some brass shim here. I hope Debs doesn't see this. <laughs> Shouldn't be happy seeing that scissors used for cutting this stuff. I think this brass shim is 3000 stick. Have a look. 3000. So we'll put a little piece of that in behind there. Right, that simply slots into there like that. We'll lift them up and try it again. Right, we'll try it again. Hopefully, you can see the, the pointer. Now it comes up to zero. I'll put the zero on the side there so you can see it. The zero is at three o'clock. Right, so zero there. I'll bring it down to the front. Zero. Well, that's amazing. It's worked that. It's worked that well. Absolutely cock on that. So it's zero there. It's zero there. Zero there. And zero there. That's absolutely just a job. Camera on there and spin it wrong with the camera on. That'll be, that'll be a good shot. I'm going to try. This Nurga DTI stand is the best camera stand I've ever used. Virtually all of my machining shots are done using that. Basically, spot on all the way around. Certainly for the sort of machine I'm doing, that's well within anything I'm going to need. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching. That wouldn't cut me, that bastard thing. 
Uh, it's one of them days where everything, everything that touches seems to want to turn to shite on us. Once again, it's just time to say a massive thanks for all the Berlin's in the world.